Hi friends! Welcome back to Give It A Go Garden. This is the channel where I bring you along on my gardening adventures. Some successful, some not, but we're always giving it a go. Uh, so today's a bit of a change of pace. We're in the front yard um, and out here it is completely shade. Uh, so totally different use of plants. And so I will show you what I got. So I've gone ahead and set uh, the plants where I think I'm gonna plant them already, uh, but I'll just go through and show you what I'm hoping will thrive. So our statement piece is this Hakone bush. Um, I did a little bit of research and I really just love the leaves. Um, typically I usually just plant flowers. So this is the first time I'm using a bush as an accent. Uh, so I'm really excited to see how it's gonna do in this container. I should probably call that out too. I don't actually have a traditional flower bed. I just have this container. And you can see that there's chicken wire because I planted a ton of bulbs. Uh, but nothing popped up. Uh, the woman at the garden center, I was kind of chatting with her about it. She told me to leave it, uh, leave the bulbs if I come across them. Uh, they just might not have gotten enough sun. This is their first year in the ground. So keep them in the planter, see what happens and maybe next year they'll come back. So I'm going to remove the chicken wire and then try and plant around the bulbs if they're there. Part of me kind of thinks they've just disappeared, but we won't know until we really get in there. So, uh, so we'll use the Hakon uh, bush as, or I guess it's uh, like a grass. And then in front of that, I picked up these begonias. Now, typically I don't usually plant begonias, but I had really good success last year. And um, you can dig up the bulbs and the blooms just look really nice on this one. So. I went for it and we'll see how they do. And then in front of them, I plan on doing um, these impatience in kind of like this pinky purple. I did impatience in this planter last season and they were awesome. They grew so huge. So I'm mindful of how many I'm actually gonna be planting in this. This might be too much, but we'll see. Uh, and I'm going to do impatience and then beside them I'm going to do petunias. And in my mind they're going to just spill over and create this really um, beautiful trail. But I don't know. We'll see. So before I get started I'm going to clear up this area. It's got some stuff to do. And then we can do the fun stuff of planting. Yay! flowers. So whenever I'm planting, I always throw a handful of this active pure hen fertilizer manure. Um, seems gross, but I had really good luck with it last year. Um, and so anytime I'm planting anything, so I'll just dig the holes, throw a scoop in and um, see what happens. But as of last year, it had some really good luck. Uh, so as I'm planting it and you see that, this is what I'm using.
getting into. I don't know if you guys just saw that. I dug in and I cut the bulb in half. So as much as I appreciate what the lady was saying about leaving them in the ground, I think if they're mush, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them out. Um, good to know that this planter does not get enough light for tulips. Mm, now we know, but at least we tried. We gave it a go. Underestimated, overestimated, uh, overestimated the number of plants I will need uh, because I really just wanted to do this border around and it didn't even take me two full, um, like four packs. I think I used seven of each. Um, it's dawning on me now as I was going through, didn't put any fertilizer in it, eh, just forgot, uh, but that's okay. I will, uh, maybe later on in the season, I'll go through with the bone meal and see if that makes a difference. But now I have kind of this empty space in the middle and I'm kind of kicking myself I didn't buy a third begonia because I thought th I think that would look really nice. So instead I'll just try and um, switch up the rest of the uh, white and purple uh, petunias and impatience. Name escaped me for a second. And uh, fill in that additional space, but already loving it. that the hakone will grow along the back creating some sort of um, kind of like backing and vertical interest. I'll be curious if the begonias which are these guys here will uh, still stay taller than the petunias and the impatience. Uh, I was able to get in a lot more than I thought was possible so I have some extra but that's okay I can figure out what to use them in uh, and I'm just really excited to have something planted in the ground so you may notice I do keep my tags uh, I have a special book that I put them in um, and if you guys are interested I can show that to you in another video and oh the bulbs <laughs> so most of them were just they weren't salvageable I mean I don't think you should be able to like squish bulbs um so maybe i'll try throwing them in the back but they're pretty gross i did find one that seems to be an okay shape so this one still seems to have some weight to it uh so why don't we just pop it right in the middle and see see what happens come fall fingers crossed little buddy um that or the squirrel will get it because i don't have my chicken wire out anymore oh this is from the back oh just looks so good so i will clean everything up and then water it in and we're done yay first planter complete we planted our shade planter um, but there's been some changes since that uh, took place biggest one being the tree behind me has been cut down um, we knew that the city was gonna come and um, take it down we just didn't know when um, but now we're not working with so much shade um, so I'm gonna be having to keep a closer eye on this planter but so far so good I think the plants might be out doing okay um, but I'll give you a look 
So even though the tree is gone, it still looks like our planter will get uh, mostly shade, um, but something I will continue to keep an eye on. Um, already in a week-ish, we're seeing a lot of growth uh, put on by the flowers, so that's really encouraging. And we're also seeing some holes made by the squirrels now that the chicken wire is gone. So um, I'm not really sure how to get them not digging. Um, hopefully as the plants grow, uh, they'll stop. They'll stop making a mess. Um, I did want to show you just one quick other thing um, because I had extra plants um, that didn't make it into this planter and I want to show you where I ended up putting them. So for the plants that we weren't able to use in our big shade planter, I was able to add them to the smaller one. Uh, there's one here and then there's also one over here that they're just um, matching. So I was able to use uh, the last of the pansies from another project. Um, we have our beautiful impatience here um, and then our petunias. Um, I was able to also use our sneaky alyssums that fell into our cart. You might have saw that in another video. And then on the edge, I added these creeping jennies that I'm really hoping will just kind of trail down the front. Um, but I was definitely able to make use of all of those additional plants uh, that we weren't able to use in our first planter. So that's going to wrap up this episode. I'll be sure to keep you posted on how the shade planters are doing, particularly now if there's not going to be as much shade. <laughs> uh, but I don't anticipate it to be too much of a problem. I still think that the flowers are going to do okay. Um, but if that changes, I'll let you know. Uh, so if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. There'll be lots more content throughout the summer. Um, and I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. Uh, Hoping you guys, uh, you know, that this encourages you to just go out there and, and give it a go. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.